it going? David Taub here with Epic Guitar Instruction. Hope all is going well, and I hope your guitar and musical journeys are going famously. Today you're going to learn the song White Rabbit by Jefferson Airplane, and this is from their 1967 record Surrealistic Pillow. It's only six chords, just one bar chord and three progressions, and you'll be playing the whole thing. We're in the key of F sharp, and the chords you're going to need to know to play the song is an F sharp bar chord. Move that up a half a step and you have a G bar chord. You could use G open, but the way that we're gonna play it with the bass line kind of emulated with the guitar, the bar chord, G bar works a little better. You're gonna need A major, C major, D major, and E major. It's all the chords. And if you're having some trouble with that F bar chord or bar chords in general, or maybe changing from bar chords to open chords, I could really help you with that. Click on the link in the YouTube description box below. I'll send you a killer free video lesson and ebook. The video lesson is extended play, it's not on YouTube, and it'll really get your bar chord playing and changing just blasted to the next level. It's loaded with technique tips and exercises. It'll really help you along your bar chord journey, and I'll pair it with an ebook that has more chord charts in it, more exercises, more lessons. Fabulous one-two punch. I'll send them both to you for free. Just click on that link below. Now the song starts off with that bass line, right? And then the trippy guitar line. So we're gonna kind of incorporate the bass line into the strumming. And um, and that's how we're gonna capture the vibe, the feel, cop the feel of the song. Let me play for you the intro. They play the intro three times around. Let me play it for you, and then I'll go back and explain it. And it's the same chord progression. That intro is also in the verses. <laughs> Right there comes in with the first verse. Okay, so all I'm doing there in the intro, and this is also in the verses, is you're gonna go between two measures on that F sharp chord and then go up a half a step, and two measures on the G chord. Now, what I'm doing is if I slow that down, okay, you're doing the same thing on both chords. Now, we want to kind of emulate the bass line because the bass line kind of starts the song and is doing this. Okay, so we want to do that on guitar. The bass is basically going from that F sharp note to a C sharp note. I'll tab out the bass line so you can see it. F sharp to C sharp. And then you just bring that same pattern up a half step and then it's going from that G to the D, right? Okay, so how can we could do that on guitars? When you're playing the F sharp chord, your third finger sits on that C sharp note, which is the fifth of an F sharp. So we got that note in that chord and we can grab it quickly. Same thing on the G chord. When you play the G, your third finger is sitting on the D note, fifth fret A string. Okay, so, so we can incorporate a strum that has that feel of the bass line, and that's what I was kind of doing. So, first time only on the chord, you hit it twice, two downs. I'm on the F sharp. Then, real quick, one and two end. Although it's kind of a triplet what he does on the bass, but it's fast. Um, but I kind of emulate it with just down, up, down, up, picked on that e, on that C sharp note, fourth fret on the A string. So two downs, then quick four picks. And you could let that F sharp chord ring, right? Because it's just one guitar, so we want to kind of fill up that sound. Down, down, quick four picks, down, up, down, up, and then another down. Now, that was the first time. The second time you do it, because you have to do it twice for each chord, there's an extra downstroke, so instead of two downs, it's three downs. It's down, down, down. Here's the first one, slow. See, the second time, down, down, down. Okay? And then the same exact notes after that. So slow together. Then go up a half 
a step to the G and you do the exact same thing. Except, remember, it's only that first F sharp that gets the two down. So now it's all three down. And you just go back and forth. You'll get it. It just takes a little bit to get that vibe off of those four quick pick notes. And then once you speed it up. And that basically you do three times through for the intro. Then it goes into the first verse. And that first verse is one pill makes you larger, one pill makes you small. Let me play you the whole first verse. It'll sound like this. And I'll go back and explain the rhythm. Okay, the verse, you do the F sharp, two measures, two times, the G, two times, then it repeats that, F sharp, two times, G, two times, then you go to the A chord, and I would do all down strokes, straight eights, one and two and three and four and down, 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 and then when you go to the C, it's just one and two and three and four and split the measure between the C and the D. So on the C, one and two and, or down, 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 D, three and four and, or down, 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 then back to the A. Now that A this time is two measures. One and two and three and four and two and two and three and four and. Verse two. F sharp. If you could do me a quick favor, please subscribe to the channel. You know, subscribing to the channel really helps us keep bringing the content. And ring that subscription bell, and then you'll be notified when we have new lessons posted. Leave a comment below. Let us know what lessons you'd like to see coming up. And if you like the video, please click the like button. Give it a thumbs up, share it, and thank you so much for your support. So let me play that part again when it goes to the A chord in the verse. Go ask Alice. See? Now that second verse, and if you go chasing rabbits and you know it's going to fail, same exact progression as the first verse, but at the end of it, after the A chord, it goes into when the men on the chessboard get up and tell you where to go. We're going to call that the bridge section. It'll sound like this. Um, I'll tell you what, we'll take it right from Call Alice, right from the end of the second verse. Okay, and that bridge right there goes into verse 3 when logic and proportion. So the chords in that uh, bridge section, E major, when man on the chessboard, and you do that E twice, I'll show you the strum in a second, two measures, and tell, I'll tell you go to A, where to go, and then you repeat it, E to A again, and you just, there's your E again, two measures had some kind of mushroom, and your A on mine, mine is moving slow. Go ask Alice. You go back to that F sharp and that same rhythm we were doing in verse. And he stays on that F for four measures or four times through that strum. Okay, so the strum pattern I was using just to change it up on the E and the A chords. Down, 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 up, down, up. One other thing I was doing on the E to the A, the first down of each chord, I was just hitting like the low root note, the low E, or the E and the A, it doesn't have to be exact. I was breaking up the strum a little bit, down, then whole chord, so like part chord, whole chord, just to give it a little variation. Same thing on the A. 
So now we go into verse 3, which is the same as verse 1 and 2, except the ending changes. Now, verse 3 is when logic and proportion have fallen dead again. You do that F sharp to G, and then you repeat it. And the white knight on white is F sharp, two measures talking backwards, and G. And the red queen's off her head. Remember what the Dormouse said, keep your head, keep your head. Now they extend that part. Let me play it for you, and then I'll go back and explain it. So right from that A, remember. So the end of the song, that outro, right, It's the, it starts off the same. Um, remember is A, right, for a measure, and then you split the next measure between the C and the D. What the C is on what? The D is Dormouse, back to A, said. Now here's where it changes. On that A, you're going to stay on that A for one and a half measures to an E chord. Keep your, back to A, head, a measure and a half, E, or half a measure, keep your head two measures, and then the song ends, you hit the A and let it ring. Let me show you what that looks strumming wise. So, do the same thing as before, full measure on the A, remember, two and three and four and C. What on what? It's one and two and the Dormouse. Dormouse, that D is three and four and now A is a measure and a half. So you're splitting it a measure and a half on the A, half a measure on the E. So on the A, one and two and three and four and one and two and switch to E for keep, one and two and. Then you switch back, do it again. A for head and she holds that out vocally, head, right? One and two and three and four and three and two and. Back to your E, keep. One and two and your head. And this time it's two full measures on the A. One and two and three and four and second measure. One and two and three and four and it once more with a down. Let it ring. And that's how the song ends. It's a, it's a very quick song. So right from that first A, remember what the Dormouse said. Here it is slow. I showed you that strumming with just all downstrokes so you can kind of build the dynamics, but you could use other strum patterns that we've used in other songs. I'm kind of just giving you the skeleton framework to get you going and you could certainly make it your own. Don't forget, subscribe to the channel and ring that subscription bell. That really helps us to keep bringing the content and then you'll be notified when we have new lessons posted. Also, don't forget to click on that link below. Get your free video lesson and ebook on essential bar chord playing and changing. It'll really help you along your guitar journey. Thanks so much for watching and thank you so much for your support over the years and years. Keep up all that hard work on those guitars. Have fun with them and remember, your guitar playing is an evolution. So enjoy the journey. Take care, rock on. See you in the next lesson. Mm -hmm.